Each week, Wells Fargo Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Marissa Levis joins us now to tell us a story on a Clayton Valley football star battling to get back in the game. That's right, Sharice. Whenever there is an injury, not only does the player endure the pain, but the team can suffer as well. Running back Joe Prothrow from Clayton Valley High School was adamant he was not going to let either of these two things happen. But in the end, Joe would learn some things were out of his control. Like any sport, practice is a player's time to get better and prepare for a game. However, for Joe Prothrow, the opening to his sophomore football season changed one year ago after breaking his collarbone during a summer scrimmage. The most difficult part was uh, sitting on the sideline and watching my team play when they were, when they would be down or when either when they were up. I just felt like I was missing out on everything. Not that. Not that. We got some this was disheartening spots. for head coach you know, Herc Pardee, not just because of Prethro's talent on both offense and defense, but also because of his attitude on the My field. Bad, I mean, we were devastated. You know, he's a very good football player. Uh, he he he's such a he he's got such a good demeanor about him too. There's no air of cockiness. He's very, he's very confident, but he's a you know he's a well liked player on our team. Determined to come back and play, Joe returned five games into the regular season, fully healed from his injury. The regular season wrapped up, and the first round of North Coast section playoffs were right around the corner, and Joe was ready to go. I was feeling great. I was I was really excited. I was most excited I've ever been in a football game. First playoff game, not actually my second playoff game, but you know I was ready to go out there and. Lay head. As the game begins, Joe and his team started to drive the ball downfield, putting them in position to score. Now in the red zone, Joe under center keeps the ball and he is stopped and injured on the play. His team scoring on the next play was the only good news. He would quickly realize his ankle was badly injured and he was down again. I went out there, I tried sprinting on it. Sprinting on it, I couldn't, I couldn't, I was just limping the whole time and um, I just kept trying and trying and, I, and then my trainer was like, you know, you got to sit out this game because, and so I can get it better next week. And then just, I found out I was uh, broke after that. Joe's injury was not easy to take for starting quarterback Mateo Gomez. <laughs> seeing him go down twice, that was hard for me, you know. That's one of my main receivers, so just seeing him go down twice just hurt me inside but I gotta live on. For Joe, this meant he also could not play basketball or baseball in the winter or spring, and it was gonna be a long road to recovery. Fortunately, Prothro had his younger brother, Michael, by his side. I just helped him do everything, but he, yeah, he couldn't really walk and everything. I, you know, I came in and played Madden with him, <laughs> so football, something about football. We played catch, something like that. Now healed from his broken ankle, Joe is back on the turf, ready to start his junior season. Little brother Michael will be joining him on varsity this year, and Joe is making sure that he is well prepared. He, he always pushes me hard, and uh, he tries to make me do my best, and he never lets me slack off, and I, uh, I look up to him. As for Joe, he already has big plans for the team and himself. I'm trying to go win league. You know, I'm trying to do all that. I'm trying to go 10-0, win NCS. Individually, I, I want to get looked at by colleges. Let's go. Let's go. And who is preparing Joe and the team? Well, you can count on head coach Pardee for some advice. Says you've just got to you got to have a short-term memory. You've got to blank it out, not overcompensate, and go 100%. So something else doesn't happen. So after suffering a broken collarbone and a broken ankle in the same season, Joe is back on the field, ready to lead the Ugly Eagles into battle. Every team needs a leader, and for Clayton Valley, Joe is that guy. The team is young this year with a small group of seniors, and even though Joe is a junior, he's still becoming an even bigger role model and vital person to have out on that field. Yeah, and his little brother is a big part of that team. They had an injury last week. He got in and did well. Yeah, he scored the game when he threw the game when he touched down, I should say, so good start for him. Yeah.